Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a good old fashioned Target haul. These are probably my favorite to film. I filmed them before and there's just something about it. They're epic and I need to immortalize my amazing finds in the form of a video. So I figured I would just show you what I got. This is like a huge Halloween fall themed haul. So hope you enjoy, leave a like if you like these kind of videos. So anyway, let's just start off with an epic find. And obviously every year Target comes out with these like Halloween socks. These are uh, just, just an adult socks, one size fits most. These are not the women's. So usually they have like men's, women's, kids, and I couldn't find any women's. I just found these adult socks. So I found a pair of spider ones that I thought were cute. And then these are obviously so cute, like so cute, okay? I think these were, okay, these were a dollar. So these were a dollar each, absolutely so cute. This gives me so much serotonin, just this, just looking at this, okay? I have been so ready for fall since March of this year. Um, I also got another pair just, you know, because I'm greedy, but I thought maybe my boyfriend would want to wear them. He probably won't. But anyway, I also found this Betty Crocker cookie mix. It's apple brown sugar. Okay. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I love these Betty Crocker mixes because they are most of the time, I think most of them are vegan. And then you just need like a stick of vegan butter and then a vegan egg replacer and they're the best. So I thought this was just a great find. All they do is contain wheat and like, oh my God, doesn't that sound good? Apple brown sugar cookie. Now get the heck out of town. I mean, fall's the best time of year. Okay. So then I went back and there was like this big old Halloween section in the back and I'm gonna say it again, I'm vegan, <laughs> which is so annoying, but the only Halloween candy that we can really have is like Sour Patch and like Starburst and Swedish Fish and Twizzlers and things like that. So I got this bag just in case. Um, not that there's any trick or treaters because I obviously live up in a high rise building. So <laughs> it's not like any kids are coming to my door, but I just feel like, I have to be ready. I don't know. You never know who's going to show up at your door one day. So that's like the most irrational purchase that I think I ever purchased. But maybe date down, I knew that that was going to be for me. So this is not fall themed, but I wanted to get a tortilla warmer or it's like, yeah, keeps your tortillas warm. So this was only $4.99. That's pretty good. And, or I don't know if that's good or not, but to me, that's a pretty affordable price. And I always need to keep my tortillas warm. So, I mean, I was just like, ah, I'll get it, whatever. Okay, also found in the fall section was this 40 treat bag, Halloween bats and jacks, pretzel treats. So I don't know why it's saying pretzel treats. They're just pretzels, but I like this brand Oots. They have really good and it's vegan, like butter flavored um, pretzels. I love like buttery flavored pretzels. It's somehow vegan, I don't know how, but um, yeah, I just thought this was kind of cute and I was like, all right, whatever. So then I got every year, okay, if you're a cat owner, listen up people. Every year I get Boo the cat toys from the Halloween section. I literally wait around till Halloween and then I buy him the specific Halloween ones because something is in them. I don't know if it's like Halloween spirit or whatever, or if there's spirits inside of them. These things make my cat go literally haywire. Um, he, I actually had these in the bag, so I brought everything home from Target. I left it on the floor and he found these in the bag and was playing with the actual like box of these. I think I have a video of it. So anyway, there's something in these. You have to get these for your cat if your cat likes like crazy toys like this. I, there's just something about them and they're so freaking cute and they're just a great little Halloween pickup. I mean, geez, the best. Okay, next. I need you to be ready, okay? Because I don't think that you're ready for this. I saw this on TikTok and once I saw it, it triggered me so bad because then I had this anxiety where I needed to have something and I needed to find it. So I went to two different Target stores to get this and I got the last one. 
at the second Target store because the first one didn't have it. Okay. Okay. Just take a look at this, would you? Take a look at this. Mini pumpkin waffle maker. Mini pumpkin waffle maker. And guess how much it was? $9.99. That's it. Mini pumpkin waffle maker. I have the chill. I'm not even kidding. I have the chills. Like, I'm, I have the chills. It's amazing that this even exists and that I got the last one. They also have, if you can't find the pumpkin one, they have like a skull one, which I was like, kind of morbid. I don't really want a skull waffle, but I do want a pumpkin shaped waffle. So I'm gonna take this out really quick so I can show you because this is like, this is insane. This is just absolutely insane. Okay, there it is. Stop, 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 just, just stop, like, oh my god, so the, what I saw on TikTok was, they put, um, this girl put a cinnamon roll in the waffle maker, and it made a pumpkin-shaped cinnamon roll waffle, okay, people, what is going on, is this, like, is this year about to turn around, I think it is, I, I'm just, like, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, and the fact that I found that, honestly, anything bad that happened to me this year, which was many things, it all got wiped away. Okay, so that might be a little dramatic. Next thing I got, gorgeous. Gorgeous, this is like, this looks like something you could get in anthropology. And I got this for like $12.99. It's a pumpkin pie scented candle. And it's, stop, like I have the chills, like I'm serious, this, Seriously, it gives me so much joy. It smells so good. It's just, I don't, I, I don't even know what to say. Like I, I'm getting the best stuff and I'm serious. This looks like high end. Something you would see at, at Anthropology for $45. I mean, it's this gorgeous pumpkin. They had a lot of different scents, but to me, I'm like, I'm going pumpkin pie. Like it's obvious and that's obvious, okay? So next is a, I went a little overboard. I went a little overboard. I understand that, but I don't care, okay? So I got a ton of Mrs. Myers limited edition scents because that's what I do. This is the apple cider scent, so limited edition. This smells so good. Mm, oh my god, it smells so good. It smells so good. This is my favorite of the fall scents. So naturally I had to get this the hand soap, the uh, multi-surface spray, which by the way, this works so well. All the Mrs. Meyer stuff actually like gets grease off effortlessly. It's so good. And then I also, because I could not stop myself, I got apple cider scent dish soap. So these I ordered online. Um, I first found this alone by itself, and then that's how I knew that the apple cider scent was in existence, and then I had to order these offline because I couldn't find them in store, but like, oh my god, like, oh my god, I, I have the whole lineup, I have the whole team, okay? So I did not stop there though, no I did not. I also got the limited edition mum scent, so this one's I, I don't really think it's like, amazing but i heard a lot of people talk about it i mean it's good it's it's floral but it's not like it's not on the fall level that the other ones are and then i got this mrs meyer's acorn spice scent this one i couldn't smell in store because i obviously had my mask on and i didn't want to be like you know taking my mask off to smell stuff but it smells pretty good. I'm not really sure what it even smells like, to be honest with you, because it's like, I don't know. I just figured like, whatever, I'll just take the chance. I don't know if I'll ever see this again, you know? So moving on, we have some limited edition Starbucks K-Pods, okay? These are the maple pecan K-Pods. And these, I actually have another pack that I've been using for a little while. These are so good. Like, these are so good. 
These are worth it, okay? Fall, you know, I'm not really somebody that I don't like pumpkin pie taste. So they do have like pumpkin pie ones and I'm not really about that. I love maple pecan stuff. That's like my fall flavor that I like. I don't like pumpkin pie. It's just not really, yeah, no. Uh, but these are so good, you need to get them. And then if you don't have Keurig, I also got this, just the grounds. Like, come on guys, really, really? Is this, is this focusing? No. The notes are toasty and sweet, and I think it's kind of like a light roast. Yeah, it's a light roast, which I like light roast because I don't like my coffee to taste like coffee. Straight up, okay? don't like it to taste like coffee. So anyway, the next thing I got is this Oreo five spooky Halloween designs, orange colored cream. Okay. I had to get it. I just, I had to get it. I had to get it. I had to get it. Okay. I love Oreos and I love the orange and I love the fall. I'm excited about that. Okay. I'm excited about that. I mean, I'm telling you, was it, is this not an epic haul? So anyway, um, then I got these, I don't know why I got these, to be honest. I got a bunch of these wall clings for a dollar. So I got this cat and a pumpkin. I got this Happy Halloween one, which I guess I could just stick on one of our windows, but and then I got Trick or Treat. So again, I don't know why I got those, but they were a dollar and I was, like I said, I, I blacked out pretty much. So I was just throwing stuff in the car that looked good. <laughs> um, Speaking of blacking out, what, I don't know what the hell I was doing with this. Slime, mini slime. Why? Why did I get mini slime? I don't know, but I mean, it's just cute. Like, it'd be kind of cool if you did like little baggies. I don't know if somebody came over, if you had like a party for Halloween and you did like gift favors. I don't, I don't, like why did I buy these? I don't know, but I'm like not mad that I bought them, but whatever you know what I mean whatever so anyway next I got a lot of makeup items and I figured I would just show you in this video because it's just the, the haul's too good we have to keep going okay so I don't know what was going on with me but I was like just throwing everything in my cart I guess I don't know so I got these Kristen S products this is dry conditioner which I haven't really tried yet, but I do like the one from Dry Bar. It's a dry conditioner. And sometimes when my hair gets like crunchy down here, <laughs> I like to use dry conditioner. So dry shampoo, dry conditioner, why shower? That's my motto. Um, and then I got this Kristen S Weightless Shine Leave-In Conditioner. Now I have been using this. I've used this a couple times and I honestly do not like it. I tried to think another Kristen S product and I didn't love it, so. Maybe I'm not trying the right one, but I just, I don't know, not liking it. Um, so then the next thing, and I'm gonna put links to this, to the e.l.f. website, because I bought this kind of a while ago at Target, but I don't see the display anymore, but it is still available on e.l.f., so I'm just gonna link it there, but I did get this at Target. So this is part of the e.l.f. Retro in Paradise collection, and, they do sell this one, by the way, still. Like, it's not just limited edition, but this is the Flirty Birdie Liquid Glitter. Or kind of, it's kind of like those Stila ones, and I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now. And I actually first saw this on one of my friend's channels, Abby, and uh, I'll link it down below. She talked about this, and I was like, oh my god. And by the way, these are so good, and they're like $5, okay? This is like a dupe for the Stila kitten one, which is like my favorite thing ever. $5, that's it, okay, $5. That's it, $5. So then also from the Retro in Paradise collection, I got this lip gloss. This is the Dream On lip gloss, and I thought it was so cool. Sorry, my nails are like so ugly right now. <laughs> it's so ugly, ew. Um, but I got this, and I, it has a lot of glitters in it, and it just kind of looks like I know. Whoa. To me, it looked really pretty. What does that taste like? What does that taste like? I don't know what that tastes like, but it's really good. So anyway, I got that, and the glitters inside of it are not like gritty or anything, so it's it's really good. I like it. Um, I also got from Elf. I got a lot of Elf stuff. 
Um, I got these new, these are new bite-sized eyeshadows, and these are $3, and I thought, like, what a great little quad. So I have used this before. I'm not wearing it today, but I have used this, and it is pretty good, and it's a nice little on-the-go $3 eyeshadow. I mean, you can't go wrong, and it's cute. This is the cream and sugar one, and then I also got a seriously satin um lipstick from elf i was just going crazy i guess i haven't seen this stuff yet and i thought this was kind of a nice like nude pinky nude i think it's a little bit warmer than what i usually would wear personally but it's like a nice kind of neutral warm color and this is in the shade cream is that it cream it's a seriously satin lipstick so i also got a new Drench and Quench from Bliss. This is my favorite moisturizer. It's just really like accessible, but it's the craziest thing. It's a cream to water moisturizer, so it feels wild. It's, it's a, an experience when you put it on your face. It's like you're rubbing it in and it feels like a gel almost, and then it becomes like so liquidy and velvety and just satiny. Oh my God, it's the best. It's to me, I love the smell of it. It's like this very, like clean it feels like you're being wrapped in like a, a fresh towel and oh, it's just i don't know i don't know how to describe it but it's my favorite moisturizer next i got a bunch of covergirl things well not a bunch but i got two covergirl things so i got this new clean fresh uh powder which i am wearing on my face today and i really was just drawn in by the packaging can't lie about that I just thought it was good packaging, but it's got a nice little mirror. I got it in the shade Light Pale 140. Is that it? Yeah, Light Pale 140. And I like it. I think it's pretty good. But to be honest with you, I don't know. I would not take recommendations from me on powder because I really don't know what constitutes a good powder. Like to me, they're really all the same. Anyway, then I got this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. And I think it's pretty good. And I got it in the shade Fair, and I've used it a couple of times now, and I think it's all right. Like, I think it's good. I don't think it's bad at all. I mean, I think it's good. So, you gotta love it. I got some things that Elf actually sent me, but you can get them at Target, and I saw them at Target. But when I saw the display, back when I bought all of this Elf Retro Paradise stuff, this was sold out so like i said i'm going to link it to the elf website when i link these because i don't think that they're at target anymore but i wanted this so badly look at this perfect palette elf retro paradise palette and it's an 18 piece eyeshadow palette this to me is like almost close to perfect i have to try it out more i did use it on my eyes today so that's the eyeshadow i have and I really do like it. I will say, first of all, just look at these shades. Like, this is so good, but honestly, this could be a fall palette. If you just color, I mean, cover these up right here, this is a fall palette, and they brought this out during summer. Like, it's supposed to be a summer palette, but this is an all year round palette because it's just got a great variety of shades. And what I really like is you can do a lot of neutral, like, look at this, that's neutral right there. I mean, you can do like, this is like a winter palette. This is like a fall palette. And it's got all the shades I want because it's got like this nice to set my lid. Then it's got this black shade because I do my eyeliner with um, eyeshadow. And then it's got nice dark shades for like outer corner and stuff like that. Good transition shades. And like I said, it's versatile. Like this might be the perfect palette. I'm not sure. I mean, I wish I had a mirror, but this is only, I think it was like $15 or something like that. I was having a little bit of trouble like keeping it in control. So what I did was I just took like something like this. This came in the package and I used this and then I put my eyeshadow on that way. So it gave me like a nice crisp line. So I, it was easier to work with then. It's not going to like blend itself out for you kind of thing. You have to be a little bit more careful. That's just what I noticed trying to be honest. So I also got this e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm in Just Peachy and oh my God, this tastes so good. And it's kind of a dupe, I would say for the Glossier balm.coms it's super like the same consistency except this tastes exactly like peach it tastes so good it gives such a pretty tint 
it's like, oh my God, I wish I had this all summer. This is the, uh, right here. This is the tint. It's perfect. I love this. Like I actually love it. And this is so affordable. I think it's like $5 or something. So, oh my God, you need one of these. Like I'm telling you, you need one of these. I'm, I don't lead people astray when it comes to lipstick options. Okay. That's one thing that I know I can recommend well. That is so good and it's such a great dupe for like a Glossier Balm.com where you just throw it on, effortless, like pretty look. Oh, it's the best and it tastes great. I got two of these bite size face duo. So this one's in cantaloupe and I saw this as a really good dupe, I guess, for some Natasha Denona one. So I'm wearing this one on my face today and I'm using the highlighter. Um, that's the highlighter I have, but I thought this was really pretty, just a cantaloupe one. And then this one I thought was cute too. This is white peach. So I actually like the blush in this one a lot better, but I like the highlighter in this one. But like, look how cute. These are just so easy to like throw in. They're so small. And I think they're like three or $4. Like they're so affordable. So I got two, both of those. And then the last thing, e.l.f. Energizing Facial Oil Mist. So that's what it looks like right there. I'm gonna take it out and I'm just gonna use it. But this is the one that I picked out. It's, they have a lot of different ones, but this is for energizing. You can just mist it throughout the day and it's just like a really nice citrusy smell. So anyway, that is everything that I got from Target. And like I said, all the e.l.f. stuff, I'm gonna link on the e.l.f. website instead because I'm not sure if you can find it at Target. But was this not an epic freaking haul? I mean, seriously. I have to say this is the best thing that I bought. Like this was such a find. This was an event. When I found this, my heart was beating faster. And I did one of those crazy people things where I went and checked out right away. Like I was hiding it in our cart. I didn't want anyone to see that I even had it in my cart that I had found it. Like it was, it was, in, it was intense. Okay. So I'm going to go make some cinnamon rolls with this right now because that's just what my heart is telling me I need to do. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if I missed anything because I need to know if I missed something, okay? I need to go back and get it if I missed something. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, like I said, subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.